So you've decided you want to make a big change in your life and you would much rather have it happen tomorrow than have to wait for it for a couple of weeks, months or even years. I get that, but sometimes that is really scary and the consequences might be bigger than uh, you can imagine or you can imagine them and you feel like, well, I can't do that, I have to do it differently. And you're right, you can. You don't, you don't necessarily have to, but you can do it differently. And my name is Gerdy Verwoerd, and you can find me at DareGreatlyCoaching.com, and that's what I want to talk to you about. Because when I decided that I didn't want to live in and work in corporate anymore, that's when I also thought I want to stop doing that tomorrow. And that was totally unrealistic. If I had done that, I would not have had an income anymore, I didn't really know what I want, wanted to be doing. So quitting immediately was not the best and the brightest idea I could have had. And thankfully I didn't do that. I took time to figure out what it was that I wanted to do. And then I took time to figure out how I was going to do that. Now that was about, let me think, 12, 13 years ago, it took me about three, four years to figure out, okay, this, not what I wanted to do, I knew that, but how I was going to do that, and during that time, I still worked in corporate, I did part of that time, I was freelancing, but also for corporate clients, and only after I really figured out what it was that I wanted to do, but most importantly, how I was going to do that, that's when I quit that's when I stopped working in or for corporate and decided, okay, now is the time to really do what it is what I wanted to do. And then still, it's still small steps because when I decided to move to Austria, I also decided I wanted to be a certified hiking guide. But at the same time, I also knew I wanted to start coaching. Only I didn't quite know how to do that. So it took me a couple of years to figure out how to how I was going to do that and also to screw up the courage to do it so that again was small steps and I'm still stick, taking small steps I am not quite there yet I'm not at the point where I can work as and live as a full-time coach I still do things next to my coaching for example I work part of part of my winter as a ski instructor and that's why I'm sitting in a Gondola right now going up the mountain because um, I'm going to have my first day of skiing today. So, um, you know, just getting my practice in. But it doesn't mean that I put my coaching dreams on hold, that I put building my coaching business on hold. I don't. What I do is I have this ski instructor job next to whatever it is that, um, not, not next to whatever it is, next to building up my coaching business. So if you are thinking, seriously thinking about making a big change in your life and you're also thinking, well, I have to do that today, you don't. You really can do it slowly, taking small steps and just take your time. It's less scary, it's more secure, it is just, it's just, it's safer and that makes it sometimes easier for people, for us, to make these changes and also when you want to make a change to take hold sometimes it's just good to uh, take small steps so uh, I hope this helps I hope you're gonna go over to uh, daregreatlycoaching.com subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't already let me know what you think I'd love to hear and um, I'll let you know how my day of skiing went have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.